Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. If that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory- You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this You're not is the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Not tonight. No way. I had a great time, and I really enjoyed the ride. Always happy to give you a ride. You're funny. Me? <laughs> I gotta get away from here and my wonderful family, like right now. Come on, they're not that bad. You don't live with them. Catch you tomorrow. Let me check my diary, see if I've got room. Girls like me are in demand. Mm, no doubt. 
I'll swing by around eight tomorrow. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. Heard that so many times they sound like a broken record. Same thing again and again. It might help if you actually gave a fuck, you know? For once. Get over yourself. Nothing new here. They've been arguing since we were in diapers. Well, you were in diapers. I was better trained. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. <sighs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy. Oh, Jesus, you scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. This sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. Megan is an annoying kid that does annoying stuff all the time. Mom and dad know that already. Maybe, but Megan heard them arguing about her. She seemed really upset about it. Upset is a permanent state of being for her. Where's the little princess, anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her, if you don't have other plans. I'll go find her. Hey, Mom? You there? Dennis? You still up there? What do you want? Just want to know how my sweet brother is doing. Not so good. Bigfoot clumsy ass stomped all over my records. She's your baby sister. Anyways, looks like she's got better taste in music than you. <sighs> Megan. Don't notice me at all.
Which nosy going to be dead some little shit has been peeking at my diary? Never understood his fascination with this stuff. They don't care. They're not interested. They don't see me. To them, I'm invisible. That isn't right at all. I'm not doing that. I get blamed for everything. It's not fair. Hey, Megan. What's up? Not listening. Hey, who are you talking to? To someone who actually cares about me. What are you talking about? What was that? You see that? <sighs> Megan. Hey, Megan! Anthony, you there? Anthony, where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me! You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. <sighs> Shit! 
Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan! I gotta get Megan out! You're back. Interesting. Excuse me for a moment. Hmm. Life is as tedious as a twice told tale, vexing the dull ear of a drowsy man. True, if the story has been told fully, completely. But the truth of this story isn't fixed. Far from it. A story can change a great deal when told from a different perspective. A chance to walk in different shoes, make fresh choices, discover new things.
disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened, or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You, you are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you, rational, emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice, for what it's worth, is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together, for eternity, in God's loving embrace. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. 
I don't know. Ah. Ah. Fuck. Where's my phone? You okay? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Careful. There's no rush. Don't be such an old woman and help me up. <sighs> Not sure I'm the old woman here. What happened? Not sure what went down back there. Everything happened so fast. Slow down. Breathe. You're in shock. You seem real calm. Not my first accident, Daniel. Have you seen any of our classmates? Or our hotshot professor? Hey! Anyone up there? Hey! Daniel, that you? John! Good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. That looks bad. I hope Taylor is okay. Taylor will be just fine. The girl has a knack for getting out of trouble. I know Taylor can be demanding, selfish, quarrelsome, and small-minded. But other than that, she's a real babe. Lay off Taylor. She's done nothing to you. I'm thinking I'm gonna file charges against the college. For what? Having a bad night? The college are responsible for our safety. This nightmare is negligence. Not only have we crashed in the middle of nowhere, we're saddled with Jumpy John as our way out. Right now, our priority is getting out of here. Follow me. Why do men always feel they have to be in charge? I can find my own way. Thank you. You coming? Hey, Daniel, you guys! I am not a guy. How are you two doing down there? This trail is the pits, but we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. That's the headline here? Your clothes are ruined? Really? Easy, that outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. My money's in the green. Don't you worry. Money, that's what she wants to hear about. Hey, what's happening here? Not much. I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel! You got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. We staying here all night? We're gonna keep moving. I cannot stand water. Ever since I was a kid. No way I'm crossing over. We nearly got mangled in a bus crash. And you're worried about getting wet? You don't understand. This outfit cost a fortune. There's nothing to it. Just follow me. Come on. 
It's easy. Oh, God, I hate this. That's God. it. Keep going. You got it. Oh. Oh. Hell, I wish this was over. <sighs> so, you can be a gentleman after all. Thanks. What is it? I don't get it. What exactly do you see in that girl? I have no idea which girl you're talking about. You couldn't be more obvious. When are you going to talk to Taylor? You sound just like my mom. What exactly do you mean by that? What I meant was, a middle-aged woman sounding off about relationships comes across like my mom. I am hardly middle-aged. There is no need to be rude. You wouldn't be defending Taylor unless you were interested. Come on. That pylon has to be near a road. Probably the one back into town. Ugh. Good to see you two. We finally made it. Everything okay? We're both good. But this gate is chained. We can't get through. Now what do we do? Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push! Great job, you two. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? You are real hard work, you know that? Too high maintenance to be your squeeze, Daniel. <laughs> You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? Far too seriously. Lord knows why. Go ahead and choke. I'm just making casual observations here. Nothing wrong with that. Apart from it being real creepy, so stop. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere with you. What? what? I walked away from you! Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone then. Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? 
Hey, wait, what are you doing? Taylor, look out! What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back! I walked straight out every time! It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something! Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. No, okay. what can we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no-ho. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. You can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job. Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Right take football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Did you all see that? What was that? At least someone is home. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. There had better be a phone in there. We're all a little twitchy right now. Maybe back off everyone a little, huh? What's up? I'm sure I've seen that before somewhere.
Like where? Nothing unusual. Don't focus too hard on remembering. You might hurt yourself. I'm a little concerned. You blacked out for a while after the crash. Yeah. I'm not sure. Still a little spaced out here. Well, concussion can scramble your memory. It'll most likely come back to you. We standing here all night, or we going inside? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Let's take a look around. Maybe find a phone or something, yeah? <sighs> What's bugging you? All I'm asking is we take I a look. I can't do this. You need to make your mind up. Make my mind up about what? Me. I'm not running around after you like some lapdog. Sorry, I know I can sound tough sometimes, but what happened back there really got to me. It freaked me out, too. I just... wish I was better at knowing what's going on with you. Come on. You already know. Hey, take a look at this. How about a game? Let's throw a few. May take our minds off the fog. Really? It seems pretty lame to me. You scared I'll whoop your ass? Warm up with an easier shot. Go for a single 20. Yes. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Try for double seven. You're still shook up a little. At least my eyesight seems okay. Great shooting. Go for the bullseye with your last dart. You throw a mean dart, even when you're not in a game. Kind of weird, right? Stuck here with these guys because of that fog? How do you feel about all this shit? No, we're not having a great night, that's for sure. But I guess it could have been worse. No names, but some around here could do with being taken down a notch or two. What's on your mind? Angela pisses me off. Why can't she keep out of everyone's business? I know. You'd think a woman like her would have better things to do than to stir shit up between us. She gets a kick out of it. I'm glad you can see it, too. We should go and check out what's happening. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. She's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Natural talent. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around.
Mine's dead. I could use a shot of that right about now. I really gotta cut down on the booze. Mm. We all drink too much from time to time. We should leave now. What? Can I get some peace around here? The phone's dead. There another one? Phone's dead. Damn. Could still be a working one in town someplace. Cool. Thanks for the help. Yeah. We appreciate you helping us. This place is a bust. There's nothing for us here. For once I agree. The sooner we're gone from this dreadful place, the better. I could care less about ancient history. Christ. This is practically parchment. From the 70s. Holy shit. Would really like to leave this place now. Can we just get out of here? Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... You hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go?
That is one messed up looking pile of something. What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. That fog has affected more than your sense of direction. Your imagination's also out of control. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog? Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Can you two make an effort to keep up? Andrew, can you come over? What is it? I just saw someone out in the woods. Really? Well, maybe it was the bus driver. What I saw out there was a child. If there was anyone out there, they've gone now. All I see is trees. You two, we need to stick close. What the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. What is it? I'm not sure. Let me take a closer look. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Who are you? Your name, lady. Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what you truly are, Mary. 
Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. There's someone else out here, by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained, I mean, Sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew, somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you, you helped make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. I know it's been unsettling, but we're gonna get out of this. Unsettling my ass? Unsettling is way back over the border somewhere. What went down back there? Not sure, but whatever it was scared the crap out of them. We better keep an eye on them.
see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. this trash. How you doing? Not sure. Still can't get my head around what happened back there. We lost you in the fog. Sorry. Shows we need to stick together. For sure we do. What is out there? I get you were spooked, but you need to move on. It's done. You really don't get it, do you? Historical society meetup. That explains the old-fashioned clothing they saw. Are you for real? Come on. Historical society? Get out of here. Hey, something up ahead. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? Maybe we should be heading back now. Ah! You okay? I'm fine. We have to do something. What the hell do you suggest? Both of us should go. Mm. 
I'll deal with this. You go back and wait with the others. Hey, Professor! Damn it! Anyone there? Hello? Anyone? Get off me! Why is it you want from me? Who in the hell are you? Be gone, devil. I'll not be tempted by you. Wait, don't go. Stay away. Angela. Take your eyes from me. I want no part in the work of the devil. Wait. Are you okay? I lost my bearings. I couldn't see you through the thick fog. Did you see the little girl? I could see you back there. That's really odd, because I sure couldn't see you. Your clothes looked different, and your accent was off. You sounded like an actor in some historical play. It must have been someone else you saw. I teach you. I know you. I recognized your face. Whoever you saw, it wasn't me. Now please stop. You're scaring me. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Okay, let's split up. I'll head into town. Great. I'm going the complete other way. Who's with me? Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? I'll team up with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. If this damn fog lets you through, and you do find help, Send them into town after us. Sure thing. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. 
I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive. Do my best, that's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there, you think that was really supernatural? We really can't be sure what it is we've seen. Makes sense to me. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. What's happening now is nothing like what happened back then. Don't be so fast to dismiss what I'm telling you. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. Fuck! Wait! What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Anyhow, there's no one here.
You all done with poking around? Found this inside. What the hell are you doing with a gun? It was hidden under the floor. You should have left it there. Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. I guess you're right. Give it to me. What kind of place is this? Professor? <gasps> there you are. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. What the hell was that in there? It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it? What am I? In second grade? He's right. Get over yourself and move on. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at ten paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Don't strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Piece of cake. You're up next. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. What's that noise? 
I'm sure it's nothing. Wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. I shouldn't have listened to you back there. We'd still all be together. No one forced you. We'll find another way. Hey, are you okay? You should come out of there right now. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. What are you talking about? Get away, or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me. And you will say nothing. No! What is this? We need to get out of here right now. Do not abandon me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. 
You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. That campaign didn't work out too well. Can you get through there? Sure, but I'm betting you can't. Don't worry, I'll find another way. Let's just find another way. Over here, look at this. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, 
I've got no choice. Let me see if I can get this open. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Will you quit being such a baby? <sighs> Fuck me. Hey, I need your phone. What for? To call my mom. It's dark in there. I need a light. You want to leave me out here alone without a phone? I'll be back as soon as I can. Take it, but break it and it's your life. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Come on, will you? Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. How'd you get here anyway? Went around the side. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. <laughs> Angela, how the hell? The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me, what is happening? Soon they will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? There is talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. 
You are privy to the rumours about my wife, Amy? What rumours? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. What? Who the hell are you anyway? Silence! You'll not speak the devil's language in my home. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Where the hell have you been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. Jeez, I thought the professor was blowing smoke up our asses with his Angela twin story. Guess not. To me, it looked like they were married. Look like John and look like Angela were an item? What kind of weird shit are we mixed up in here? Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Uh. <sighs> this place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead, just like the rest of Little Hope.
Keep looking. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. There's got to be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Real nice. Don't give up. I feel we're about to find something. What is that? What do you think? Answer it. Wait. Let's think about this. Answer the goddamn phone! Hey, come on! Be a man for once in your miserable life! Fine. Hello? Who is this? Who's on the line? I can't tell, but they sound in pretty bad shape. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. Do not hang up. This is our best shot at finding out what's going on here. What the f-
Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Come now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I beg you, good judge, let us conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the...? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if Just I am stay. correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's here there? Us. God preserve us. Please they are here among us. They the are master cannot help us. you now. It is too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. No! What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. I can't believe how much that woman looked like me. How in the hell is that even possible? When you first told me, I thought you were messing with me or exaggerating. But seeing that woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. 
And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! We can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one... Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. I guess if you're here, it means you didn't find any help out there. <sighs> you bust out of a police station and suddenly you're a real detective? I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? What if I'm somehow linked to that woman? If she dies, what happens to me? I have no fucking clue what is going down here, but I do know that that woman is not you. Taylor, come here. What am I looking at? You know nothing about this? Not a damn thing.
Why would her bus be diverted this way? Makes no sense. No surprise there. Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. I can't see for shit. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, we'll, we'll get you over for sure. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two, we are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No, Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Lil Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reverend in your very midst. Isaac. What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. 
Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. John, hold on. Reach up and grab my hand. Jump up and grab onto me. You're not up to this. Never mind, I'll get myself up. Okay, let me help John, I'll be right back. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. <laughs> well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. Andrew had a gun. How could you have let something so precious be lost like that? Given where it went and what came out of there, I suppose we can consider it lost forever. The boys have some interesting theories. Could they, as Andrew has suggested, be the reincarnated souls of their historical counterparts? Or maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. 
tempted. You're going it alone, brave, independent, possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. Wait! What in the name of holy fuck was that? I've never seen anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. We did. Thank God we're all okay. Right now, we're safe. That thing, whatever the fuck it was, is still out there. Could be hunting us as we speak. It was in chains. Just like the woman who went in the water. I don't believe that's coincidence. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Let's just get out of here. All the places to end up. Let's get out of here. We've got to get away from here. That thing is out there. Who would bring flowers here?
poor guy died young. Let's stay away from that bridge. I'm all for putting as much distance between us and that hideous thing as we can. Pretty sure Daniel and Taylor would be thinking the same thing. Out of sight, quick! Best to keep out of his way, I reckon. We should talk about what the woman said before they drowned her. The little girl has to be stopped. She was talking about stopping the witch trials, right? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go.
I'll go in and take a look around. How you doing? You holding up okay? I'm wondering if that thing could be coming after us. Don't think it's coming. You and me gotta stay real close now. When you say close, how close exactly? This close? A little closer. A little bit more. noise didn't hear anything I don't like this I want to go another way don't think there is another way Not a place I want to revisit. Quite the tourist trail. You need to come take a look at this. could still be around here in the water no we left that thing way behind we must have oh shit you're going first right you weigh half what i do better if you lead i'm not crossing this crapped out bridge no way to find the others we got across we got no choice fuck hooking up with those guys this is me and you now we gotta look out for ourselves. I'll go out in front then. What the hell is that? See what I'm seeing? This whole place is one giant memorial to death. Let's get out of here. Daniel! Get your hands off us! Wait. I'll pick you. Mary? Mary? Mary! I am over this way! Mary. The fountain of all evil is here. That little kid is the evil here? I don't I don't get it. My beloved Amy proclaimed it so with her dying testimony. If this evil is to end, Mary must be stopped. That child is trouble, but. I can't believe she's really evil. There it lies. I found it. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hand. I take it to protect you. Suspicion and betrayal walk side by side in Little Oak. No one is safe. Please have a 
Parker. Let me keep it. Nothing. No working phone anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we really are trapped here. Still no sign of them? Nope. Not yet. I just hope they're both okay. I figured we'd have found the bus driver by now. Wonder where he's at. Why can't you leave us alone? I... I think she wants us to go after her. You want to follow her? She could be leading us into danger, even a trap. The two girls we've seen. One is from the past. This one is from here and now. Maybe the girl we're seeing here is somehow a mirror image of the girl from the 17th century. Don't you want to wait for Daniel and Taylor? If they were coming this way, they'd be here by now. Stay loose. Who knows what's up ahead? Hey, wait for us! Guys? You there? It's Angela! I got you! John! Help me for God's sake! Her down there, we've got to go get her. Angela, are you down there? Help me get down there. Angela? You still down here? It's John. You okay down there? I'm good. That's all there was. Nothing else.
Hey! There's something blocking the door. Give me a hand, will ya? This place is a museum of some kind. She in there? Relax. This doesn't feel right. Stay focused. We're not having a rerun of what just happened to Angela. You sure about that? I'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. Once we're out of here, we'll hook up with the others. That's if they're still alive. Why is this kid out here on her own? It's strange. Maybe she's linked to Mary somehow? Gotta be. Though how and why, I'm not sure of yet. This is what the trial was all about. People being in cahoots with the devil. Right. And this kid, Mary, who snitched on everyone. That's gotta be the girl we're seeing. Come take a look at this. I've seen this before. Where? On the road outside that shitty little bar we stopped at. Angela and me saw it laying there, picked it up. Right before that kid Mary scared us for the first time. Interesting. You think she maybe let us here? Wanted us to see this? I'm inclined to leave it be. I think you're right.
Hey, we can get out this way. Where'd that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. Lead us to the puppet. Job done. I'm not sure about that. Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. What the fuck was that? No idea. Guys? Professor? That you in there? Can we just get out of here? Where the hell are the others? Probably as lost as us. You think they're looking for us? Could be. Angela's got no interest in finding me. That's for sure. She's got a mean streak, all right. But she's got some heart. You sure about that? Yeah. Known her for a long time. Longer than any... All right. Ten bucks says no one's home. I'm not touching that. Still, first place we've seen in a while. Find a way in? Like you found a way into that store? You a burglar in your spare time? <laughs> no. But I was in a past life. door Hey, Daniel, look here. Found a way in? Take a look. Don't think anyone's visited for a long time. Oh, yeah. And that's ten bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat. I never took the uh, bet. Fair enough. It's loose. I can jimmy this open, no problem. Let's get this over with. Need a change of pants? Funny. Get your ass in here! <clears throat> Doors open. These things look so real. They're freaking me out. What's up? I just... I just saw something. Where the hell are you going? You sure this is a good move? Nope.
God can ease your plight now. This court has heard from Joseph how Mary has in her possession a devil's plaything, a poppet. It is clear to me that you, Tabitha, are the one who gave the child this monstrosity. You must come with me. Mary, tell him about this poppet, how you made it with your own hands. You are mistaken, dear sister. The doll has never been mine. Do you see now why I must have your help? Please! What trickery is this? Witchcraft! Your master can help you no more. Cast aside your false idols and pray to the one almighty lord for forgiveness. You will pay dearly for bewitching an innocent child. I beg you, Mary, speak the truth before it is too late. This cannot be undone. Silence, woman. <laughs> what happened? I heard voices. I saw my fucking self looking back at me, dressed all weird, speaking funny. I mean, what the fuck? Hey, I'm sorry. I tried like crazy to stay with you, but I, I just... I don't know what happened. This woman, the one who looked like me, they just... dragged her out like some kind of criminal. I mean, shit. Let's get out of here. I hear that. I found us a knife. Huh? Think we should bring it along? Here, you take it. Uh, why? It's obvious, dummy. Self-defense. Okay, small price to pay to make you feel better. I got it. Come on, let's go. Oh, hello. Are things becoming any clearer for you? That thing, whatever it is, just keeps coming for Angela. Unrelenting. I do hope she's okay. Now, at last, someone has a weapon. Shall we try to hold on to this one? Let me help you out. Give you one little hint. Well then, how can I put this? We each have our own demons. They are ours and ours alone, and they are often born out of regret.
I'll leave you now with some wise words from a great Irish playwright I once met in uh, Paris, I believe. <clears throat> Never judge anyone shortly. Every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. She's just a child. Let's speak again later. Looks like we've locked out here. Back on the road. The professor and the others can't be far. Hope you're right. We've been shit out of luck so far tonight. The woman who looks like me. What did she do to be taken like that? Not a great omen for sure. But nothing's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Promising young author, found dead here in 1858. This town is all about... What I saw back there was unreal. I get that, but... But shit, this whole night has been messed up since we crashed. Thanks for having my back. This shitty night would be a lot tougher without you here. We've looked out for each other. We're the first tourists this place has seen for a long, long time. Why would anyone come here anyway? This place is a real ghost town. Where the hell is that coming from? I don't know. Here, check this out. This is impossible. I know those markings. This is my old tire swing. Look, here, see? Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. It's not okay, you don't get it. See these stars? I painted them onto this tire with my dad when I was 10 years old. You sure? Hell yes, I'm sure this is my tire swing. How come it's out here? I believe you, okay? So what does it mean? Fuck this place. Hey, hey, look at me, look at me. We're getting through this, okay? Together. This is not my doing. You must help me. I beg you. Please help me before it is too late. Hush now, woman. Only the Almighty can forgive your sin. That is your only hope of salvation. Listen to me. I have committed no sin. The puppet I am condemned for is a child's plaything. Nothing more. I swear You'll not swear it. me. The sickness you brought into our midst must be purged. To free all of us and you from evil. You must burn. I beg you, stop! Do not do this! No, no, please, no! Stop! Pray God for you to take the soul of this, our sister Tabitha, who has been led astray by the devil, and do with it as you will.
woman we just saw. It was me. That, that means I'm next. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. Let's keep on going to the church. That's likely where the rest are. Yeah, sure, I guess. Feels like we're being followed. We are being followed. Hey! Get the fuck out of here! Back the fuck off, will you? <gasps> oh crap, what the fuck is that? <laughs> we gotta go, come on! that Taylor Taylor is that you back there get to the church run hey one of those fucking things is after get us get inside go come on move it hey run get inside Are you crazy? You trying to get yourself killed? Get in here. Where's Angela? She didn't make it. Nothing we could do. Are you kidding me? No, and we have to keep that thing outside or we'll be joining her. Fuck. Look for ways in and out of here. Close them all off. I thought my time was up back there. That fucking thing. You're okay. It's all good. I was never gonna let that thing take you. <gasps> no! Get off of him! I never thought I would lay my eyes on you again. Top of the... What the hell? You look just like me. 
Who are you? I ask myself the same question. Something's happening which has changed us all. Even young Mary. Some days Mary seems the gentle, kind-hearted young girl I've always loved. Yet she's changed also. There's a malice in her so powerful I dare not name it. We've got to stop that kid before this gets any worse. God forgive me, but my heart wishes you here with me, Tabitha, not Mary. Even from death, she has hold of you. Mary. Her spirit has held you so tight that you are blinded by it. You twist the meaning of my words. Our sister lives. She's here next to me. I know you see her too. No devil abides here. David is stricken with grief. He is confused. I'm not confused. I'm speaking the truth. Judge Wyman will decide who speaks the truth here. You will come to no harm from David. My word on that. I'm no danger to Mary. Nothing in heaven or hell could tempt me to harm her. Wait, hold up! <sighs> Professor? Andrew! It's me. I'm next. The priest, reverend, whatever. Made accusations against my double. It sounded serious. Another trial? Not this time. It sure looked like it was heading that way. And the girl? Mary? Yeah. She was there, all right. We secure in here? You find any other ways in? Doesn't feel any safer in here than it did out there. You're my student. It's my job to keep you out of harm's way. That thing is still out there. Look over there! We have to follow her. Whoever she is, she's tied up in everything that's happened here. What if you're right? What then? If we can stop her, it could prevent any more harm happening to our doubles. Okay. Guard the door in case that thing comes back. Hey, kid. You out here? It me to say these words, but your punishment today will protect us all and keep our town safe. Can you spare him? I beg you. This is hard for you, child. But one day you will understand and you will thank me. Go from this place, Mary. Your pleas cannot reach him. My fate is not a memory you should carry. He will be my keeper if you are gone. Judge Wyman has instructed Abraham. He will be your keeper. A decision not all are in agreement with. Every man will face his day of judgment. Yours is today. No! No! Look, child. See who you would have me spare. See, he is no longer of this earth. Only the damned and the devil can resist in this way.
He was right here. I was holding him. He was right there. Nothing I could do. The I've Seen Myself Get Killed Club would like to welcome its newest member. Say hi to Daniel, everyone. What are my member benefits? I'm not dead. He is Beanie. Don't bury me just yet, T-shirt. We are wasting valuable time here. Why did that kid Mary want us to see her brother executed? She's like the weird kid at school who gets off torturing bugs. Natural born sadist. I don't think it's that simple. It's way more complicated. There it is! That's what's been after us! We can't let it trap us up here. What do we do now, with that thing outside? Quiet. It's out there. Listen. It's out there, for now. What if it decides to come in after us? Maybe we're okay if we stay inside the church. Because? Because it's holy ground. A church? Maybe it can't come in. Really? It's a fucking vampire now? I'm just saying, this is a solid building. He's right. We're safer in here. We're staying put. That thing is hunting me just like before. It wants me. You don't get what we're dealing with. That thing out there is something fucking else. We gotta get away from it. Right? She's right, we need to split. We stay here and it's snack time for that thing. Whatever we do, we stick together. Remember what happened to Angela? Okay, let's do this. We're going out the back. Amen to that. What the hell is that? Another good reason to split. Let's go! Maybe those things have gone? Looks clear. Stay close. Go! Get out of sight! Hide! We gotta do something now. Hold on, Maria. We need to be calm. Fuck calm. Taylor's in trouble.
Really happy to see you guys. Thought I'd lost you. We're still in big trouble here. I need a break. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No, wait. He needs a break. Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. None of us is safe. Not tonight. All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. We should rest here for a while. You asleep? That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut-eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. Any ideas how we're getting out of here? Listen. It's clear now. There's no help available. We're on our own. Sure seems that way. Our best shot, maybe our only shot, is to stop that girl, Mary. Getting to Mary, stopping her, might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Stopping that kid is our best shot. But how? Not even sure she's real. What's the big plan? Please, little girl, will you stop messing with us? We have to try. We owe it to the others. And ourselves. Mary's the key to this. I'm certain of it. You're right. When we stop her, this all goes away. If we see her again. Nothing here is certain. What's going on? You okay? My eyes were just burning for a second there. It's okay, I'm good now. <laughs> What's that? Shh, shh. Hell no, that thing is back to finish me off. Get down. Take cover. It's heading straight for us. Be quiet. Angela! Easy, Tiger. I'm a little tender. I thought you were gone. How in the hell did you find us? We thought. You know. We're all glad you made it. Stop it. You're gonna make me blush. But thank you. No one messes with you. For sure. You are one tough lady. So the whole crew is back together. You rounded everyone up. Good job. Mm, not quite. They found us. Right now, our priority is getting you safe. Let's go. We've come across more of those things since you left us. The thing that chased after me was horrendous. Now you're telling me there's more of them? What in God's name are they? Oh, uh... I almost forgot I had these. Very happy to return them. There was a time I feared it wouldn't happen. Thanks. You're a true gentleman. Ugh. One lens is broken. Maybe I'll break the other one, then I won't have to see what's going on down here. 
Not sure that's gonna give us the edge we're looking for, but I like the idea. You hear that? I heard it. Sounded close, too. Just gotta keep moving. Let me help you down. Started? Doesn't matter. We have to keep moving. <sighs> Easy. Come on. I got gotcha. you. Come on. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. Guys. Andrew? You there? Daniel? Taylor? How we got out of there in one piece, I'll never know. Hold the celebrations. We're still cornered in shithole central. And the fucking mutants are still out there. We gotta keep moving. It is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. Heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. Everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Three executions, three tormented beings, and not a soul lost. You're doing very well. Keep it up. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. Keep a lookout for the girl. We have to stop her. I, for one, hope I never see that girl ever again. Stopping that kid is the only way we're making it out of here.
Let's not get too close, huh? Come and check this out. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. No, this cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I'm not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. Get the fuck out of here! You've been itching to stop this kid no matter what. Now you want to go all bleeding hard on us? Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably going to do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. Nope. We never even saw her. Fuck. We met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds of years ago. How you doing? Ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't reason. see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Have makes no sense. I'm good with that. None at all. It never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and 
ghosts. This is some serious shit we're in here. Sure, I know. I get how serious this is. I just... I just want us to push through this. And we will. Thanks. Just so... wired right now. We need to get moving. Fuck this place and this stupid ass crash that got us here. to me. Whatever happens, do not let go! Oh, leave me! Get out of here with the others! Hold on to me! I can't believe Taylor's gone. What the fuck? We need to get away from here. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. Taylor. I just can't believe it. This ain't happening. Can't believe Taylor's gone. I'm such a fucking asshole. I could have saved her. It was obvious she really cared about you. There's got to be a way of stopping the girl. We might have already missed a chance to change things. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on, let's take a look. Sure, I've been here before.
Hey, up here. That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> It's my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary is just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits. Devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not Hall. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gotta be good, right? You agree with him? It went down just like he said. What? 
the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. No way. Come take a look at this. You won't believe this. But we're in this photo. All of us. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? It's my nightmare. Why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait. Who are those people in the photo? someone's personal stuff. Doesn't feel right. Okay. So what's your theory, smart guy? We're dead? That's what I said to Taylor. We're fucked. Can you help me out here? Doing what? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Hey, are you okay down there?
Andrew? Daniel? Let's go before anything else happens. Shithead! Hey! I don't understand any of this shit. But she's gone. <laughs> Fucking thing. Professor? Professor? Andrew? Daniel? Oh, thank God. We didn't think we'd see you again. Got lucky, I guess. First time tonight. And have you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. Whoa. Seems a little harsh. Something moving over there. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. 
I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. Our town is infected with madness. Roy, you by saints, servants, barely. We have to stop this. Get away! You give me that! Look! See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones! The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orp rests in your hands. We're screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? John! What are you doing? I can't get away from this thing. You saw what happened to Taylor. I'm not going the same way. Are you crazy? We gotta move! Go! Like now! 
now! This thing is only interested in me! Get out of here! Go! I'll hold it back! You can get away! Escape! I did! You don't have to do this! This is stupid! Get out of there! Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. Where in God's name are we now? Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. What was that? She must be hiding upstairs. We need to find her. <laughs> She's in here. Stay here. Andrew? What are you doing? Let me go! Andrew! We are all gathered here in one place again. I am filled with dread at the purpose. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Old, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her poppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. 
We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This poppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. You must never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Then you not help me. What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child know. of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. Mary and Mary alone. No question there is something very wrong here. Right in the heart of this place. There can be no doubt that little hope is afflicted. That darkness has taken hold of our town. There is not a man or woman here today who does not already know the devil is in our midst. The sole purpose of this court is to remove evil, not indulge it further. Our time is not for wasting. Listen to what he's telling you. Mary's the one to accuse. How do I make my decision? If I am wrong, I condemn an innocent to die. Mary has to pay for what she's done. There's no other way to resolve this. The court has to decide her fate. Traitor! Go and leave me be! Abraham, ignore his words. He is no friend to us. She pleads with her evil spirits. What more evidence of guilt does the court require? The sentence I must pass is for the good of the town and all who live here. There is no other way to rid us of the evil you have brought. Mary, you will be taken from this court and burned at the stake as a heretic and witch. This is how you care for me. You are no different to any of the others. The sentence to be carried out immediately. We cannot risk further attempts from the devil to rescue his disciple. Eternal damnation awaits you, sister of Satan. You will roast in fires of hell! So that's the end of it. Girl was burned. What else is there? I've really messed up here. What happened to that girl was wrong. I've made a bad mistake. Let's just get out of here. What's up? You okay? That child won't be troubling us again. This is over.
I thought I might find you here. <laughs> well, been through the trenches, huh? Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. Nothing but ghosts left here now. Free piece of advice. You stay out of that place. This is what you had. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. About 10 minutes down the road, there's a diner and got a working phone in it. Don't come back. Ain't nothing here for you no more. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? Yeah, that's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here! I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends on what makes you happy, really. And you eventually found him, the bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. <laughs> Till we meet again. Maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert. 
or somewhere else. But we will meet again, at least one more time.